we are given that cos z is that where z is an angle we are asked to find this fraction for that so we we'll rationalize let's multiply the numerator and denominator by this conjugate of this so i'm saying that we we'll multiply cos z minus cosec z over sec z plus tan z we we'll multiply by sec z minus tan z over sec z minus tan z is a way of rationalization so that we simplify so this is now this is difference of two square for the denominator this is sec squared minus tan squared so we open up this so this is called z minus cosec z times sec z minus tan z so we know this is one from our pythagorean identity this is one so we have this so we have cot is cot is cos z over sine z minus 1 over sine z times sec is 1 over cos and tan it is minus minus tan z is sine over cos again they have they have common denominator so this is cos z minus 1 over sine sine z times this is 1 minus sine z over cos z and we know from our trig identity pythagorean identity sine z because we are given in terms of cos z so we need to change this to cos z so this is cos z minus 1 over square root 1 minus cos square z you remember from our pythagorean identity the same thing square root 1 minus cos squared z over cos z so we have this times this so we have cos z minus 1 times 1 minus square root 1 minus cos squared z over cos z times 1 minus cos okay, this is z cos square z so let's now substitute the value they say it's l here so we can write this as this is l minus 1 over this is l minus 1 minus square root 1 minus l squared over square root 1 minus l squared so we continue so we rationalize we rationalize this so this is 1 minus l minus 1 over l times let's rationalize so we multiply by conjugate of the numerator which is 1 minus 1 minus l squared times 1 plus square root 1 minus l squared over square root 1 minus l squared times 1 plus square root 1 minus l squared so which is so this is l minus 1 over l times this difference of two squares so we have one minus one squared minus square of this which is now one minus l squared over this one minus l squared times one plus square root one minus l squared one minus l squared so 
this is one minus r so we left it l squared here so l squared l so we have l times l minus one because this is l squared l cancels that remaining one l so over square root one minus l squared times one plus square root one minus l squared let's yes, find finally this l l minus one over this times one is square root one minus l squared plus this times this that the same so one minus l squared different that is this times this is square so square root cancel square so we are left with that i think that is the answer let's check the option this should be option Mm, option B. The, our answer is option B. The answer is option B.